Well, it's smoking. Smoky time with another smoke bear review. This one is Brari Rittmeyer Hallendorf Rauschbier. Gold award winner for 2009. Comes in at 4.9%. So, say, well, crack this one open. Again, not a huge bang from this one. Darker bear this time, it does say on the label Dunkel Lagerin. Not a huge lot of carbonation. I do sometimes wonder with the swing tops if they uh, always seal properly. They did stick down there, but it was normally they come off with a resounding crack. But that one was a bit of a sticky hiss. Right, what do we got? Some more smoke, some more malt. This is Dunkel. Nice dark lager there, you can see. Almost a chestnut. Auburn colour. Very little head. Got some carbonation streaming up the glass. Just very gentle. Lots of prominent on. Uh, the smoke note, more the malts. A little bit of uh, sweet caramel. Let's have a taste. <clears throat> I was actually expecting this to be A little bit more pungent on the um, smoke style, but it doesn't seem to be. It's noticeable. There's a lot more sweetness with this one. <clears throat> Get more of the um, darker malts coming through. This would probably be even an easier starter <clears throat> for some who want to try the style. Now I notice they have changed the label to this one which is obviously they're showing depicting the World Bear Award Star Award <coughs> but it is um, sometimes it comes through to us branded with a slightly different label. I don't think it's a different brew. There's not a whole lot of carbonation whether that is down to the seal on the bottle top or not, I don't know. I've served it cool from the fridge, allowed it to warm up slightly. <coughs> These glasses aren't really tall enough to um, take full advantage. So it's more of a lighter taste, not so much um, on par with smoked bacon, it's more of a smoked ham. <laughs> it's difficult to tell you what in the smoke category it um, comes in at. This one is much more of a rounded profile. <clears throat> You've got a little smoky note and then the sweetness going round. It's not really any bitter hit. All but the very mildest. It is more much like a session lager with a hint <coughs> of a smokiness. Uh, very much more on the malt smoke. It's a little bit on the back note. But um, yeah, I would say this is probably number three at the minute with uh, the one I done yesterday at number two, which is a uh, Weichera Rausch, <coughs> which came in yesterday's brew, and this one today. If I get a chance, I'll follow it up with another one during the course of the week. Which is the Smoky George, which is also from the same brewery. But that one is a smoked whiskey malt from Scotland. 
I know one or two people might be interested in that one. But this one is, yeah, even more light and easy sessionable than uh, the Wilder. <clears throat> so it's a lager, so you can't really sort of say there's lots of different notes. You can get the dark caramel malts, <clears throat> the smoke malt, very light. <clears throat> This has still got plenty of date on the bottle, so uh, who knows? I'll try another one, see if it's a little bit fresher. Maybe the seal will be better. Could have been that. Uh, a bit disappointed with the appearance, but um, taste wise, probably a better one to ease into. This is basically a dark lager with a hint of smoke. <coughs> Definitely less noticeable. Okay, I'll enjoy the rest of it. Catch you on the next one.